Hi, this is Natalie from Sites with Natalie. Choosing the right WordPress plugin can be overwhelming, especially for beginners. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a great and relatively new WordPress Gutenberg plugin. The plugin I'm talking about is Spectra from the same guys from the popular Astro theme. Some extra and unique features include you can start building with a visual website builder. It is 100% beginner friendly, improving the default WordPress block editor, super fast and stable. It's fully responsive and you get amazing creative Gutenberg blocks you can use in combination with any other WordPress Gutenberg blocks. You can also set blocks display conditions for the blocks. Instead of columns and rows, the Spectra plugin uses the modern website building experience with Flexbox containers that give you complete freedom and flexibility to design what you want. On top of that, all of these features are completely free. Without any further ado, let's get into this. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie. If this is your first time watching my videos, this is a channel dedicated to help WordPress business owners to become even more successful. Kindly consider liking this video and to subscribe if this adds value to you so we can all learn together. Spectra, formerly known as the ultimate add-on for Gutenberg, is made by Brainstorm Force, the plugin behind the Acer theme. Spectra is a complete package of creative blocks to help you build beautiful pages and posts on your site. They claim it works with all the themes. I recommend it use it with the popular and lightweight Hacer theme since they make a good combination to work with and customize it as we want. To install and activate just head over to your plugin, tab inside your WordPress dashboard, and then you do a quick search for Spectra. Then you just need to click to install. I have already installed. And then once it's installed, you need to click once more on the same button to activate. Once it is added to your WordPress dashboard, you access them through the settings tab and then Spectra. Inside the Spectra dashboard, click now on the blocks from the top of your screen to get a full list of the offered blocks. They are arranged by blocks and extensions and they are completely free to use. You can activate or deactivate all by clicking on these two controls. And one great thing about this plugin is that they are modular, meaning you can choose to only enable the blocks you intend to use, improving even better your website speed. You just need to switch this purple toggle button. At the moment, there are over 30 completely free available blocks and three extensions. Extensions, by the way, are enhancements for other blocks. Let's begin by activating all of them. One cool feature I love is the fact you can define on your own the block editor spacing. To determine the block editor spacing is pretty easy and it's one of the first things you need to define. In Spectre settings, there is an option called Block Editor Spacing. So just click on this Settings button and inside we have the Editor Options. You can adjust the spacing and the gaps between elements. You define here the default content width and inside the Assets at Generation, when turning on, Spectra loads CSS and, and GS in line in a way that these files will be headed in a separate CSS file and what happens is that they will not show up in the source code anymore. Under the performance, once enabled, you download the Google fonts and save them on your server, improving your site speed. And finally, what I want to point out to you is this, the block editor 
settings, the block editor spacing to define and apply the spacing in between all blocks inside the block editor. Inside the block post, let's add a new block, so click on the plus icon to add a new block. And this is how the spectra blocks be like, so you can easily identify them by this light blue color. One of the most used blocks is surely the heading block. Heading and drag it to the canvas. Spectra heading blocks offers a little more than a standard heading block. At the right sidebar, you have three tabs, General, Size and Advanced. Let you can change the heading tag, you can enable the subheading positioned above or below the main heading and it's worth mentioning that in terms of HTML markup this is a paragraph tag. Plus you can also have a solid double or separator solid and you can choose the position above, below, Another core spectra block is the container block. So let's insert here. It has 12 blocks layouts to choose from. They are powered with Flexbox containers, helping you to design responsive websites without touching any line of code. I choose this one. I have set this here a section in order to show you how the Flexbox container works. We have one column container which functions as a wrapper to my other three child elements the heading, the icon list and the marketing button. Select the container now. I want to show you a key aspect of this relevant block. You know you have selected the block by using the list view feature or noticing on your bottom screen and you find here the block you are selecting. Under the General tab, you have access to four inner container presets. If you select the container section, you can set the box, the content box width, and you can set here the minimum height 500. Under the Flex Properties section is where you set the direction in which the container elements will show up. So let's try out. This is horizontal or a row direction for desktop view. For tablet and mobile views, you access them at the top of your screen. To align items underneath is to align items in the cross axis. You have a flex start like this, flex center like this to align the child elements within the container, flex end and you have also a stretched. Let's put this flex center. The justify content below defines how the space between and around content items are distributed along the main axis of a flex container. At the moment there is no empty space so nothing is changing. Finally we have the wrap controls where you determine whether the children or the child elements are, are forced to stay in a single line, no wrap, or can be broken down into multiple lines. And you also have the wrap reversed, just like that. The stack orientation is one of my favorite features. You determine here the stack orientation for all devices used on the internet. You just need to select the element and then you set here. You do want to hide on desktop, you want to hide on tablet, on mobile. Very nice. Another great thing I like is the ability to set the display conditions for each device. You select the block and then you move into the advanced tab and then you determine here how do you want to display the item. 
There are four choices based on the user state, the user role based on the browser of the user, or on the operating system. Thus, you can actually set different conditions in case you are running a membership or an e-commerce site. Moving on, Spectra Image Block has this cool feature, so let's have an image. Let's put an overlay, center, center, and the color would be... So I had determined a black color. When someone overs over on top of the block, I get this cool effect. Below, under the, uh, the over image, you determine whether you want to have an extra effect. On over image, you have several options. Let's try the zoom in, the slide effect, the grid, the gray scale, and the blur. The choice is definitely yours. Under the mask section, and I like this a lot, you define here a clipping mask for your image. You just need to select the mask shape, circle, wait a few seconds, and then you position the mask position, center top, center left top. The mask size, you can also set here your dimension, contain, you can set as a diamond, as a blob, just like that. The Mansory Gallery block is another great block. So I have inserted some pictures from my media library. You can change this at the moment is a grid. You can go with the Mansory as a grid or as a tile. If you decrease the number of columns to two, you get this beautiful layout. The images have the same width but different heights. My favorite blocks are the content timeline, so let's have a new one, content. Very easy to customize. You can edit each of the elements. You can change the orientation, the text alignment to the left, center or right. The arrow, you can also adjust it. In the Style tab, you adjust the padding space. Let's put here 30. The spacing units are in pixels, M's and, percent and percentages, helping you for styling a responsive site because they scale relative to the parent or the window size. If you need to reset the values, there is a control it's here. Another great block is the Google Map. Fill in the address. Let's put here London and then you choose the zoom level. Let's put here this one and you set the height of the map to 500 for instance and you can also set your language to put the marker on the map. Incredibly simple and straightforward. You can display this Google Map block anywhere on your page. You don't need to create your own API key or worry about renewing from time to time. This is great especially for beginners. If you need to start building page quickly, then Spectra template keys are an excellent choice. They are arranged in three different filters, pages, patterns, and wireframes. Pages are grouped templates built around a specific type of business, but you can adapt it to any type of business, patterns, consists of parts of pages performing a specific function. Good examples include features and services. You can filter the patterns by colors and by category. Wireframes are layouts waiting for you to add content. They are grouped by type and you can search as well by color and by category. To recap, Spectra has a lot to offer in terms of blocks and templates. 
you get all of this for free, which is insane. The range of blocks are really impressive. I know Spectra Pro will be released very soon. It will be included in their top plan with the release of the Astra Theme version 4. I really hope they have option to add unlimited number of HTML elements in the header and footer areas to add global colors, not only to headers and footers, but also for text styles. And the ability, of course, to insert dynamic content into any page from custom post types. One missing feature, though, could be implemented, in my opinion, is I am talking about the ability to insert a selector to add CSS animations to blocks, just like Elementor and Cadence blocks do without the need to use the customizer. I would like to know if you think you will be using Spectra blocks. Leave your comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, share or comment if you like. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments section below.